Hello everyone and welcome to our Learning Hour webinar. I'm Prasanna and I'm excited to be your host for today's session. Today we have our expert trainer Miss Kayatri and she will be sharing a very interesting topic about social media content creation using AI tools. During the session, you may ask questions in the chat box below. Miss Kayatri will answer the question at the end of the session. Without waiting any longer, I hand over the floor to Miss Kayatri. Hi, thank you, Prasanna. Thank you very much. Let me share my screen. Okay, clear. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, again, I'm very excited to see all of you in another session of uh, Learning Hour. And uh, today we will be discussing, uh, or maybe I will be sharing a lot on how you can create a good social media content uh, using AI tools. So this is like the era of AI. And uh, yeah, while it can be overwhelming, which tool to use, you know, which will be the free one to use. I'm very sure a lot of you are looking for free tools because most of the tools, AI tools out there comes with a price. So what I've done today is I've gathered some 13 tools that you guys can use for your social media content creation. And uh, all these are for free. It can save lots of your time. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so a little bit of introduction about me. My name is Kayatri, and I've been in the uh, in in the you know in the um, uh, digital marketing industry for the past fourteen years, um, running my own social media agency. Apart from that, I'm also very actively involved in training and teaching. Okay, so that's just a little bit about me. Some of our clientels are here. Okay, so now let's go to you. If you are a content creator you are involved in uh, doing research on what kind of content that you have to create or you are uh, you have to design certain uh, you know the structure of your content from the captions uh, from the image or the uh, visuals that you want to go out or even the videos that you have to you know come up with so you are a content creator or you are a digital marketing person, meaning to say you have all this content. Now the idea is you need to market it effectively to your target audience, right? And also if you are a business owner, while well, uh, like it or not, if you don't have help, then you're going to go do all this yourself, right? So if you are any of this, then uh, the session will be very much helpful for you, okay? And uh, while we are on you, you know, we are talking about you. So probably some of this scenario sounds familiar. So uh, like, for example, if you are a content writer, you may always find the writer's block. You, you will always stumble upon this, whereby you want to write something about for your, for your blog or for your social media post and all that, and you just don't have the right idea. You just feel like you're so exhausted. You have exhausted all the ideas. You have exhausted new ideas coming to you. And I can tell you guys, a writer's blog is like the real, a real, real thing. And, um, and I have some way that you can address it, right? And of course, uh, inspiration. As a content creator, we need some inspiration. And most of the time, inspiration doesn't just flow that way. You, it just takes like special moments for the inspiration to come, right? So probably you are also facing this, waiting for inspiration and the wait can be too long, but your business can't wait too long. Your bosses cannot wait too long because the work needs to be done. It has to be created. The content is to be created. The content is to be upgrade, uploaded on your social con uh, social media platforms or even your blog or website or whatever platforms that you have, right? Or after month, uh, after not months, like you know, after hours of contemplating whether this is the right idea, then you decided, okay, this is my right content, and then you start self-doubting: is this the right content? Uh, what is the analytics that says so? what kind of research that I probably have missed, right? So all these are real thing. 
And once you've done your content and you're still not satisfied with your outcome, or you know you have trouble generating images, you have trouble looking for the right visual, you know, it's just not available on stock images, or you're, you don't have the resources to, uh, you know, you know, get a photographer or do your own image, you know, you develop your own image. So this can also be a huge, huge problem if you are a content creator. And one thing that all these problems, or I would say challenges, not problems, that all these challenges can up to is that is the time that you spend to do all this. So there's a lot of time spent in researching a lot of time spent in designing your content structure, a lot of time spent in coming up with the content uh, data, for example, the captions, the hashtags, you know, you have to look for the right hashtags to increase your uh, reachability, all right? So all these things can be very, very time consuming. Now, this is where AI can actually save you <laughs> a lot of time it's here to help you. It's here to save you a lot of time. And at the same time, it can help you to produce quality content. So as a marketing person, for me, AI is like, you know, there's a lot of tools there available and we need to look for the right tool that can actually help us to achieve our organization's goals and also our branding goals, right? So let's look into what, how uh, the five main ways how AI can actually help transform your social media content creation. If you've been using the traditional way of, you know, coming up with, uh, you know, just do research. Research can take, you know, a few days to come up with different kind of content. And then you have to look for the right caption. You have to start writing the right captions, that right description. Look for the keywords in your social media content, uh, keywords in your blog content, your website content, the videos that you are going to produce, right? Your description that you want to write in your uh, YouTube, for example, YouTube description. So all this has been uh, the traditional way. And then you have to design your image. You have to develop your videos, visuals and stuff like that, right? So if this has been the way you have always been doing, so AI is here to help you to transform and make your life simpler. So the first main thing when it comes to content creation is you need to have content ideas and you need to generate based on the ideas. Ideas are just ideas, right? Of course, you need to have like good ideas, but then you need from the ideas you need to generate, you need to convert it into content that people will be understand. Who's these people? These are your target audience. So they need to understand what you are trying to tell them, all right? So we have AIs to suggest content ideas. That's like a big relief, right? Put in your uh, customer data, put in your, uh, you know, who are your target audience, just simple information like that. And it can help you to generate text. And it saves a lot of time if you practice what we have been practicing, like we have brainstorming session, and then we write our caption, and then we analyze the captions before the right content goes out for our client. So this is going to save lots and lots of time, all right? So the first uh, tool that I'm going to suggest is Buffer. So a lot of you might know, uh, might have heard about Buffer. So Buffer is actually an analytical tool. It actually can help you to um, publish content. That means you create a content here or you publish your content in your social media platform. And it can also, uh, you know, uh, give you some insight about the engagement, some insight about all the analyticals about what your page or what you how your content has done. But what we are going to focus now is how we can use AI in Buffer because Buffer has this new uh, feature called Buffer AI Assistant. All right. So what Buffer AI Assistant can do is actually it can help you generate content. Okay, like for example, if you guys see in the slide here, so these are the, uh, this is actually a screenshot of what I've done. Okay, so we, they will start like, give us some information about your business. So what I've done here is I've written that my business is about a yoga studio. This is just, uh, you know, imagination 100%. And what is your target audience? My target audience is busy working professional. And, um, 
guys whoever is watching this you can be very detailed about what is your business so just rather than putting this yoga studio i focus on wellness i focus on healing i focus on having healthy lifestyle for for you know using yoga as a medium all right you can write longer like that also it is fine the more information you give to ai the more information you'll get back the output will be much much um uh, you know complete all right and then when you talk about your target audience, you can also say who are your target audience. Do not have to keep it to one. You can have multiple target audience as well. But my suggestion, my suggestion is a post is going, going to be created for a particular target audience. So do not, again, as much as you want to give a lot of information to AI, but don't over confuse the AI. So if this post is only for busy working professional, we can just take it to busy work, working professional, all right? So once I've put in all this data, what I'll do is I just click generate ideas. So what happens here is, uh, okay, this is what I've put in detail, uh, what I want to promote, right? And then I'm going to promote my yoga studio in conjunction with World Wellness Day, something that I just created. Offer a free one-to-one -one session my target audience is busy working professional, right? Then I'm going to generate. What happens here is this part here is what it has generated. So Buffer's AI assistant actually came up with the whole thing. Like we understand that as busy working professional, you may not have time to fully devote for your well-being. We are providing all this, take a break from your don't miss this chance and all this stuff, right? So Buffer actually created this entire caption within second all right so if you need to do this of course um, it will take a lot of time okay now once it has done it it you you have an option of copying and pasting or you can also ask ai assistant to rephrase it if you see like okay i want it to be rephrased uh, you can ask it to rephrase you can make it shorter or you want to expand it you can ask it to expand or if you feel like it's a very, very uh, professional tone, you can make it more casual or you want to make it more from very casual tone, you want to make it professional, you can make it more formal. So AI offers all this. Now, a lot of you might be thinking that one of the tools that I will be suggesting will be ChatGPT. While ChatGPT is amazing tool, but it is widely used and all that. And I just want to take this opportunity, uh, this one hour uh, webinar, where we do something other than the ones that are very mainstream like ChatGPT, Bing, or Google Bard. So these are a very high uh, content, a uh, text generative uh, AI. So yeah, while that is also a very good option, I'm just going other than ChatGPT, other than uh, Google Bard and Bing Chat. Okay. So uh, for you guys, the first one is Buffer Buffer AI Assistant, right? And of course, you can use this, and this is free. Okay. Then the second one that I want to suggest is post perfect social media posts. So while Buffer is something that you can use on your desktop, post perfect is something that you use on your mobile phone. All right. So in my mobile phone, I always have this app. So this app uh, is like so easy. You can do any social media post on the go because I don't use this on the go for my clients. I use this for very much my personal, not because it's not professional or what, but uh, on the go means you are just doing it like on the spot, right? So of course you can also do it if you're doing for your personal thing, but if it's for business, you know, you, you have to put a little bit more thought here. Uh, this is a perfect way if you really right, just need to use your phone to just create some post within like second and just straight away upload it to your social media platforms, right? So all you need to do is you have to download this from Play Store and then you have this option. The first part is you will have like create your post. So what is the post that I want to create? Just for an example, I wanted to create on five SEO tips for beginners, all right? And then I have to just press on this part here where it gives the next 
option where it, you go into advanced. So in advanced, you can choose the language of your post. Uh, English is there, Bahasa Melayu is there. So there's a lot of other options. You guys can try download this and then you can see all the other different languages options there. And then very important about um, Post Perfect, it gives you what kind of tone do you want to use. So you can be like informative, you can be humorous or whatever tone that you want to use. And the next thing is your goal, which is also very important. What is the purpose of the post that you are creating? So here I decided to use informative and then I decided to use the goal is I just want to increase brand awareness. All right. So after doing this, I just click create. So there will be an option of creating. Just click create. And then this is your output. So your post will come out like this. So boost your online presence with these five SEO tips for beginners. Research content, create high quality, optimize meta tags, description, yeah, which is very true. Build quality backlinks and don't forget to track. So if you ask me, this was created by uh, Post Perfect and the content is spot on. Yeah, these are like really important things if you want to focus on your SEO, especially for beginners, right? And then the next thing is you can share, all right? You can share and it will give you ample of places where you can share Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, or whichever that you want. So the only thing you don't have in Post Perfect is images. So of course, um, here, Buffer also doesn't provide images, but Buffer as whole, you can actually upload images, you can change uh, certain, you know, uh, enhance the images and all that. But since we are just uh, looking into creating the captions, the copywriting, Buffer is the first one that you can go for other than ChatGPT and stuff. The second thing, you can also always try out Post Perfect, right? And the from the time that I put in five tips for beginners, to the time that I get your post is just less than a minute, you know, just probably a few seconds, right? You guys also can try this out. Then the next thing that we want to do is once you have your captions ready, now you need to look into visuals, all right? You want to create good visuals. You want to create, uh, you know, you want probably already have some visuals where, where you take images using your smartphone and stuff, but you need to enhance those images. So we have AI tools that create, can create images, can enhance these visuals. And uh, of course, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of time editing manually, all right? So the first one that I would definitely, definitely suggest because it is also free is Canva, all right? So if you guys have Canva, uh, it, you can do a lot of things, all right? And the best is, uh, of course, Canva, as I say, it's free, is good. Uh, if you can upgrade it, like probably you can just buy the upgrade version. You can just Google search where you can buy. Um, you can uh, get it for even probably cheaper price, you know. So you can do it in Canva, okay? So why I really like Canva, it is uh, it has certain features like magic design where this AI can do a turn text into social media post, right? Or you can also have text to image option uh, where you just have to put in certain um, prompt text and then you get an image. I'll show you later. You have magic editing and magic eraser where you can just probably remove any unwanted elements in your image or you want to advance that by using like a magic resizer, you can just resize the image for different social media uh, uh, platforms like Instagram story might have different uh, resolution, right? Uh, or, or the, the post design, what is the resolution for Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, probably you want to have like an infographic so you can easily use magic resizer to resize everything. And you have drag and drop editor where you can drag and drop. I think in Canva, they have 100 million plus images, videos, backgrounds, and so many other elements that you can use, right? It's just as simple as drag and drop. So you don't really need to use, uh, you know, manual editing, All right? So that is Canva. So also part of Canva is Imagine. So um, like I say, if you upgrade it a bit, right? So you can get Imagine. And you can also get another 
uh, tools that I'm going to uh, share with you guys later. Okay, so that's actually multiple, not only that. See if you have Dell E, Imagine, Mojo AI, and few other things. So I'm going to just share with you guys about two, Imagine and Dell E. All right. So Imagine is a, a tool where you it prompt text, whatever text that you put, it generates from the text. It generates images from the text, right? So for example, what I've posted, uh, I've uh, prompt here is, I want an image of a woman excited for Christmas, dressed in red Christmas attire, all right? And then I generate, and this is the image that I get. Okay, so this is all free to use. You know, you don't have to worry about copywriting and stuff like that. No, we always have issue coming up with, we, we have some idea of what image we want, but to look through the image in stock images will be like a nightmare. Sometimes you just don't get the right one. And uh, if you have the means, then of course you can do a photo shoot and stuff. But of course, photo shoot, getting the images ready might take long. And how long does it take for me to do this? Again, seconds, right? In AI, we only talk about seconds. Probably in the future, it's going to be milliseconds. Okay, so imagine is one. The next one is doll E. If you guys are prompt users of, uh, you know, uh, chat GPT, so probably you have known about Dolly. So Dolly is actually a part of uh, OpenAI, chat GPT, uh, and also a Whisper, right? So under OpenAI, you have chat GPT, you have Whisper, and you have Dolly. So Dolly, like while chat GPT is text to text generator, Dolly is text to image generator, similar to Imagine. All right. So what Dolly can also do is sim simple like this. Again, I have prompted this image of fit looking yoga instructor teaching a group of children yoga. So I want a, a yoga instructor to teach a group of children. So just teaching a group of children. Right. So and then I click generate and I have this image. So if let's say I'm not so happy with the image, I can always click generate again. And it will ask you to rewrite the prompt because for this prompt, you got this image. So you can always enhance your prompt. You can ask uh, a bit more detail. So if you want, then you can get uh, whatever that you want. All right. So you can keep asking, keep prompting it to, to um, you know, give you different images. All right. So what I've done here and I'm, I'm, I'll be very satisfied with this image, in fact. Right. So this is what I want. I want a yoga teacher teaching children yoga. That's all. OK, now that is Dolly. So I've shared three, uh, uh, you know, uh, images creating con uh, tools, right? You have Canva, you have Imagine and you have Dolly. OK, now this is another one that uh, you will be also excited. Uh, pick art. So Pix art is also a very, it's free, you know, thank goodness for that, it's free. You can create YouTube thumbnail, anything, any images, right? So you can also create images with AI. You can remove background similar to what uh, Canva can do. You can do all this here, all right? Now, this is something that I wanted to do. I didn't generate an image. I actually then generated a GIF. All right, you can also generate video chief like this. So I wanted rain of sweets and lollipops. So this is what I prompted this AI to do. A rain of sweets and lollipops sounds like so exciting. And then this is what I got. So you guys can see. So why it looks a bit this? Because this is a chief. It creates a chief. All right. So again, this will be like a background for me, right? As long as I want something like a background, it's it's hype, it's fun, it's colorful. So this is what I wanted, right? So that's Pixar for you, also free. And then you might also ask me, right? I can have text to image. I can have text and create GIFs like this. Now, how do I create video using AI, all right? So again, in video AI, free tool you guys can use. So what I asked is five tips for beginners, five SEO tips for beginners. And then once I generated, this is what I got. This is actually a three minutes video. I'm not going to show you that, but not up to the three minute, but you can see the quality of the content and it's free guys. Again, probably this took two minutes to create. 
sorry for the delay why because it's a video it has to generate it has to render it has to i got a download so two minutes give or take two minutes right i still think it's not too bad so this is the video oh, sorry let me just play the video ever wondered why your website or blog isn't showing up on the first page of google search results the answer lies in three simple letters seo short for search engine optimization today we're diving into the world of SEO. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of five essential SEO tips that can help improve your site's visibility and ranking. First off, let's unpack what SEO really means. It's a digital marketing strategy. So guys, if you see, I just prompted about five SEO tips for beginners. And if you were to do this video, you will have to come up with a proper script, right? Proper script proper uh, timeline where what has to go on where the images that you need to come up with and everything so it's going to take like few hours to do it if you already have the script in the back of your mind but what this in video ai does it it just generated that so fast so easy and it if you guys see the flow it starts with an introduction and then what you will get at the, at the end of the video and then go straight into the video five tips all right and then of course it gives you what is seo and all that about why because i said that this video because i prompted that this video is for beginners right so this is what uh in video ai can actually do all right then the third thing uh is like uh you know we have done on the uh captions we have done on the content creating using uh, you know tools to create images and visuals and uh, you know videos and also gif now let's look into ai that can help you to look uh, to generate uh, trending hashtags and emojis all right so if you guys know hashtags are important important in any content that you are creating why hashtag can actually uh, increase your reachability and also your visibility. So when people are searching for you uh, and your hashtag has been trending, yeah, it can also increase in your searchability as well. So give a little bit of importance. I, I'm during my trainings and you know discussion with clients, I've seen that people are not giving a lot of uh, importance to hashtags. Uh, platforms like Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, X, and uh, you know uh, TikTok obviously are uh, very much hashtag driven. So you need to look into hashtags as well. Now, AI can actually suggest what is the relevant hashtag that you can use or even the emojis that you can use. Again, do not overuse emojis. Like if you guys are using ChatGPT, uh, you know, this is at one point of time, it's so easy to see who is being who has been using ChatGPT for their content because of overuse of emojis and their data structure, I mean, the content structure, right? So always uh, use that, you know, ChatGPT is good. All the content uh, AI content generator are good, but just don't look make it look too fake. Like you have been depending on, uh, you know, all these AI tools like hundred percent, right? Also, at certain point of a time, you got to like um, you know uh, manually edit here and there so that it looks something like what you will represent, what your brand will represent, right? So going into this hashtag, one of uh, I think like really really underutilized tool is predis.ai all right predis is actually not only the hashtag generator guys it actually can do what canva can do what hootsuit can do uh, you know um, what so many other uh, social media chat gpt can do and all that it doesn't only generate uh, hashtags but why i put it under gen hashtag generation it's very prompt the way it gen gives you hashtags are very good okay so you can just enter a few keywords and it generates hashtags for you. So predis.ai is something that I will definitely suggest, all right? Not only that, what else can predis.ai do? It can create text for any, like anything, right? It can create text for your post. It can create blog for your post, script for your video, you know, anything, meme post. It just creates nice looking meme, like, 
creative memes, right? Not whatever that you have to, uh, you already have on Google. This is something that's created on the spot for you. Only you have been using that. You'll be using that. Of course, it can also create quotes and so many other things, right? Uh, check it out. Predis.ai has a lot of things that this, this guy can do. And uh, of course, um, the analytics also there. So you, you may want to use Predis.ai for analytics, right? So that is uh, one of the tools, right? Then you can also use Hootsuite. So Hootsuite, while this is also a content management tool, whereby you can use Hootsuite to generate uh, text, you know, and you can also use this as an analytical tools or even use this to publish, you know, uh, in on social media platform, which a lot of other tools can use. Uh, Hootsuite also gives very good uh, free uh, generator for social uh, AI, so hashtag generator for any social media platform. So if you guys can see it, uh, it also give up to Pinterest, right? So you guys can look into Hootsuite as well. And that these are the two things that I will suggest for uh, hashtag generator. And there's another thing called hashtagify me. Okay, I didn't include it here, but you can always Google search. Uh, hashtag if I me and uh, another one is uh, hashtag dot IQ something like that right so let me just get back to you all right so hashtag if I is something that you can also look into right uh, or keyword tool dot io so that's another one keyword tool dot io so why I would suggest keyword tool dot io is because um, generally hashtags are used across the world but let's say you are looking for hashtags that is close to your home, your Malaysia, for example, and you just want to know what kind of hashtag has been trending in Malaysia. So you can use a uh, keyword tool dot AIO, all right, keyword tool dot IO, where it goes by region. OK, so you can look by region. You can look uh, for trending keywords, trending hashtags uh, in certain region. And not only for you know all the social media platform you can go specifically only for instagram or specifically only for TikTok, or sp specifically only for uh, linkedin for example right so that's an additional thing which i didn't include here but you guys can always uh, google search keyword dot keyword tool dot io okay and then the third uh, the fourth thing is how you can repurpose your content okay so repurposing content is really really important so what happens is uh, we are moving towards marketing sustainably all right so we want to have like the moment you create a content so you want to be able to reuse the content right uh, because yeah while content creation is it's current it's evergreen and it can be like, uh, you know, uh, it has to be at that point of time, it has to be relevant. As much as we want to achieve all that, we also shouldn't neglect the sustainability part of marketing. When while you keep creating content, but there are ways the content that you've already been created, which has been lying there for months, can have a new life. You see, certain content uh, talks to audience in a different way. For me, probably, um, you know, article works the best for me. For the younger generation, like we're talking about Gen Z or even younger for them, but younger than Gen Z, they might look into content that is like probably 45 second video, all right? So they don't want to spend one, two minutes to read, but I just want like, you know, few minutes of video, all right? Few seconds of video. So that is the same content. So different people will absorb it in different way or you might have people who are into uh, infographic so you want to be able to create the same content in infographic all right or it's in a gif so whichever way it is or a blog post so whichever way it is the same content can be repurposed so this is actually a very good time for you like we are towards the year end right when you are planning for next year content creation so you can look into older content that you feel like you can give it a new life, right? So you can start repurposing content and also guys include the sustainability, marketing sustainability as part of your goal for your upcoming year, because this is where you will be able to maximize fully on all the contents that you have, 
okay so uh when you want to repurpose content of course it it extends the life of valuable posts so we will look for po posts that we feel like this post can be repurposed okay so what are the content uh, ai tools again free tools that you can use to repurpose your content the first one that i would suggest here i have two i will suggest here is audacity so audacity is actually a editing tool so it can edit a uh, video audio and you know it can record and stuff like that so let's say you have blogs now you want to change the blog into a podcast okay so you can change whatever written whatever blogs that you have written you just have upload it to audacity and then change it to easy to listen podcast and you can have multiple podcasts all right so this is one of the way how you can repurpose your content and of course let's say we are doing webinars like this right so all these webinars we can actually easily convert it into course audio all right so educational information audio so audacity can actually help to do that and while this uh this video whatever that i'm doing now the webinar will be on uh, the social media platform just imagine uh, as a provider the the course can also be in so many other different uh, platforms in a different format format right so that is another thing right you can transfer webinar to course audios or you can even change ebooks into a webinar all right so that will be like pre-recorded webinar and you have like interactive content and all that and uh, there's a tool called Syntasia, Syntasia.io, which is not free but it can actually uh, what happens there is uh, you will have certain avatars talking on behalf of you if you don't want your your your, your image to be shown right so you can have uh, avatars you can have voiceover like real people talking uh, or explaining your slides or explaining your video and you can also get it done but of course that's a paid version audacity is the free one okay so audacity can do all this stuff you no know, and it is really really uh, i i would definitely suggest look into repurposing your content this is real and it is it's going to be very very effective if you just want you can just do it like a trial all right so you can always do that and but always repurpose your content okay another thing is wish me so wish me is actually um again this is not only for uh repurposing content wish me can actually you can create a lot of tools sorry you can create a lot of uh, posts using wish me you can create images you can create uh you know you, they have nice templates as well similar like canva all right similar like canva you can do so many things and you can also repurpose like uh for audacity it's very much like audio editing and recording here you can change post into gif for example right or you can post uh, you can repurpose your post into infographics or you can create article from the post or even you can also you know you have already have an article you want to create a video so i shared with you guys a video creating tool earlier so you guys can use that video creating tool and then you can create a youtube video as well right so this is what wish me can do so you can also again look into repurposing your all the articles right and then this is the important part uh the fifth way how uh, uh what you call that um uh, ai can actually help you is for your engagement metrics analytics right so uh, while all this part is very important like i'll just go from quite fast of course you want to create content you know you want to generate uh, a lot of ideas you keep creating content and then you have uh visual you have already created a lot of visuals you want to enhance the visuals and use all these tools to enhance your visuals and then you've done all your hashtag research right use pretties and stuff and then you are always repurposing your content and stuff like that which i would definitely recommend and then comes to a point that you have done everything online now the idea is like i said uh, social media content creation doesn't stop once you post up things 
it stops when you do your analytics. So analytics is a very important part of content creation. Also, why this, this is where you will know what kind of content you can create in the future. All right. Why? Based on all the analytics that you have done now itself. So, and sometimes while you have the data, you might not be able to, um, what do you call that, analyze the data. So we need to have that critical understanding about the data, whatever report that has been generated to you. Okay. So what AI can help you to do is it can analyze your engagement metrics. So whatever metrics that you can set. So for, I will normally set engagement. I will normally set uh, you know visibility. I will see, set the interaction rate all this as my metrics for brand awareness, you know, or I will also have like, you know, the number of leads generated and stuff like that. So whatever um, metrics that you want to sell, decide for yourself, you can just decide for yourself, right? So the first thing is this AI tools can help you to analyze engagement metrics and provide you with actionable insight. This is what we want. So it's not only about getting the, uh, the, the data, uh, this AI will actually suggest what you can do better next, all right? And then this information will help you to refine your content strategy. Of course, we also have tools to, you know, refine your content strategy. But that one I will be sharing in my, in my classes, all right? So here I'm just giving you like total of 13 tools that you can use. And for engagement metric analytics, one of the tools that I've always been using for very long time and they've been keep upgrading is metric cool all right again guys uh the tools that i'm sharing here with you guys you can use it for free up to like metric cool i think you can use up to three platforms free so if you are a business owner you are on facebook you're on instagram if you're on tiktok then you can use all this free if you guys see here you can also have uh you know integrate your website into metrical instagram you know uh twitter uh linkedin pinterest tiktok you know so many other things you have twitch you know whatever social media platform you name it they got it here all right so metrical is quite complete of course you can also do planning planning in the sense of you create your post here and then you schedule it here itself for it to be posted to be published in your social media platform so that can also be done. But what is more exciting for me in Metrical is the analytic parts, all right? So of course, I, I just do screenshot of it because uh, this is like real clients one. I cannot show you more detail. Uh, what it will show you is like for the entire one month, right? Uh, how many likes we got, followers, impression, and all these things. And it will go on demographic, what the click on page, the post, the reels, and all this stuff. And then it will also do a analytics on your competitor. Of course, you have to put in your competitor's data that as long as your competitors are actively posting on social media, as long as they are actively posting on social media, they can be tracked as well. All right. And not only that, Metrical will also give you suggestion of which post has been performing like really well. Uh, since you will be setting the KPI, what will be my engagement rate KPI? So anything that achieve that KPI, it will, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, Metrical will tell like, okay, good. These are the posts that actually achieve your KPI. And certain posts has been, um, you know, trending like maybe 70% better than last month. Uh, this post has like 15% uh, more <coughs> social interaction compared to all the posts. And then it will give you insight, like what happened, uh, how you can improve better, right? Or how you can duplicate the same thing, right? For example, a, a reels seems to be working the best for you and short reels with this content because it analyzes your content uh, team as well, right? Seems to be the best, so focus more on this. And then of course, it will give you a lot more detail. I'm just being like really layman term to give you all the idea. It will give you the insight it will give you a suggestion and if needs improvement, it also will give you improvement. So that is metric good. Again, free to use and it just offers a lot of things, all right? A lot of things. So I'll consider this as a premium, all right? Premium, which is free, okay? And of course, if you have like a additional, uh, like more 
uh, you know, uh, pages that you want to add on, uh, you can upgrade to premium. Premium is, I think, is around 11 ringgit 90, not ringgit, 11.9 USD, 11, 11, 12 USD, right, a month. So you will have additional probably 10 pages altogether. I can't remember, right? Just go and search this for metric code. So this is one of my trusted uh, analytical tools. Another analytical tool that I've been, I really like and I've been using for a really long time also is Simplified, all right? So Simplified is a tool uh, that, again, similar to, um, uh, you know, Metrical, it can also create content. It can also help you to publish the content, you know? So it's planning is there, publishing is there, you guys can see, right? So you have the dashboard, you can create drafts here and you can save it. And then when it's the right time to publish, you can just publish. And of course, all the analytical tools are also there. Again, similar, if you guys see, it's almost a similar. Again, I cannot show the whole thing because it's real data of client. And uh, it you, you can get, get in a graph format or whatever, whichever is easy for you. And if you guys are looking into like presenting your analytics, uh, both this tool will actually give you um, a PowerPoint presentation where you, it downloads and then uh, you can just download and you can just uh, present to your uh, client or present to your, um, you know, uh, bosses, you know, what happened last month on our social media, okay? So, but more important thing is Simplified will also give you really, really constructive uh, insights, all right, what happened, how you can improve better, all right? And then it also goes one stage, it will also go one stage and suggest to you how can you re rewrite your content? How can you repost your content? Or some repurposing idea, it will also give you that kind of idea. Sorry, we are having some renovation work going on. Sorry for the next one. So these are the 13 different uh, social media content creation tools that you guys can use AI to create. And then I've added two content that you can use to run your analytics. So because um, one of the thing is, here is, like I always say, you spend a lot of time creating this content. So you now, of course, you are going to use uh, all these AI tools, right? Uh, we can just do, do a recap. So you have, uh, let me just all this. Okay, so the first one you have Buffer, obviously you can use Buffer. The second one is Post Perfect. The third one is Canva. When it comes to creating visuals, please use Canva. It's so free and you can get the free version in even Shopee and Lazada also. Uh, there's a lot of licenses they are selling. Uh, Canva also, of course, you can you guys can look into that. Uh, you have Imagine, you have Dolly, okay? So all this will instantly gives you a lot of images, okay? Pick art is something that, um, again, I love pick art. And then you can have in video where you just have to prompt it and then you will get a video, a complete video, all right? And then we looked into a hashtag, we hashtag prediction tool, sorry, hashtag a generating tool like Predis. And then I suggested uh, keyword tool.ai and you guys can do hashtagify me plus Hootsuite as well, all right? And then to Repurpose your content, you can use Audacity if you are going to repurpose into very much audio or a recording app and free. And with me is for other things like you have posts, you want to change it into infographic. You have posts, you want to change it into a GIF or you want to change it into an article. So you can use with me for that. And then very important once you have done all this, I would spend a little bit more time in this. Okay, so you can use Metrical. And of course, you can always use Simplify, all right? So these are some of the social media tools that you guys get, AI tools to create very good social media content. And at the same time, uh, what you'll be able to do is uh, you get very good analytics as well, all right? So that's it for like 13 tools that I've shared with you guys. And uh, we can open for our q and I really, really hope that you guys uh, you know, had some good, uh, uh, you know, knowledge, uh, some tools that I've shared, you can always use it, start using it. Now, of course, um, if you have any question, you can always ask me. 
Thank you, Ms. Kayatri, for the great sharing. All right, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or doubts, and Ms. Kayatri will respond to them. Let's take a moment to collect the questions. Oh, that's a very good question. Okay. Okay. So the visual content, like uh, Farah asked, how does AI contribute to enhancing quality of visual content? Like uh, when we want to post anything online, we must make sure that quality of the content is good. When you have visuals that you created yourself, like you use your phone, you know, probably there might be some shaker or you have some background that you need to clear and stuff, right? So you can use uh, tools like Canva, like I mentioned earlier, Canva or wish uh, me also something that you guys can use. All right, Canva, let, let me just uh, show you guys again here. Pick up. Okay, so while uh, Dell E, um, Canva, no, Dell E and Imagine creates totally new images, uh, tools like Pick Art and just Canva can actually help to um, can actually help to enhance the images that you already have. So sometimes the the quality of the image that you have, it's not so good for the social media platform. It might be, uh, you know, pixelated, right? So we cannot use that kind of content when you want to post it on social media, especially when your brand is involved in that, right? So what you can do is this AI tools like PicArt or even Canva, it can enhance the quality of the content. It make it uh, you know, but again, for that purpose, don't give like really low quality and expect Canva to do magic. You know, you need to use like a proper phone, you know, have like a proper image and you can just in enhance the look and feel. You can change, uh, you can remove certain background or you can even, you know, make it, uh, you know, less pixelated using this. So this is how AI can actually contribute to enhancing the quality of visual content. And for social media, when we talk about social media, it's all about visual content, not only uh, uh, images, also videos, all right? So this is how um, AI can help in enhancing the quality of your videos or your any visuals per se. Uh, this means all the apps needs to premium. No, the, the apps that I have shared with you guys, it is free to use, not premium, all right? So not all the one that we are using, uh, the, the one that I sh shared is not premium, uh, you know, you got to pay. Most of it are free to use. Like PixArt is free to use up to one brand, I think three uh, platforms, so you can use that. And uh, Canva is, of course, it's uh, free to use. And um, you know what else that I've shared just now? Doll E, yeah, you can use that. Video, this is super free to use, video.ai. Okay, so the only thing here is if you have Canva Pro, all right, then you will have like a lot of other things like, uh, you know, Doll E, Imagine, Mojo.ai, where you can, um, you can use the free version of it. Uh, sorry, the, the 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 one that you already have it right. So I've been using Canva for quite some time, and uh, yeah, even the free version can do a lot of things, right? Let's say you need to have like a image background, uh, image uh, sorry background removal, uh, and you feel like okay, since I'm not using Canva, so I can't use um, the the tool. I'm not using Canva Pro, so I cannot use. Uh, the image uh, background remover, but there's also a tool called bg dot uh, background bg dot remove. Okay, remove dot bg. Sorry, remove dot bg, where you can also remove background without paying anything. So doesn't mean that all this app needs to be premium. Doesn't need to be that. There's a lot of free tools available. Uh, you know, for business owners who don't want to spend a lot of money on that, you can use these tools for free as well. All right. Okay. okay, it seems like there are no more questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> now let me share you about our upcoming training sessions. Okay, first we have Ms. Kayatri's training sessions, which will be social media marketing, chat GPT mastery, 
Next, we have Power BI, Microsoft Excel, Data Analytics and Visualization, and Digital Marketing Masterclass. If you are interested in enrolling in any of these courses, you can contact us. Thank you all and have a good day. Please follow and like our social media and get in touch with us. Thank you, Ms. Gayatri. Mm-hmm.